actually getting ready to get on the ferry. It only cost uh, 220 pesos for both Kara and I. And um, we're actually currently just waiting to get to Bisla Hobosh. So we're pretty excited. This is the uh, pier that you actually have to stay at and wait for um, the ferry to come. But uh, give you a little vantage point of what the pier looks like. <laughs> You came from over there down at the end of the road where you pick your tickets up. And this is the fast ferry that we're getting ready to take. 11 p.m. We finally made it to Holbage. <laughs> if you see this written now, it's actually going to look like whole box, but it's pronounced Holbage. Now this island is located north of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula in Quintana Roo State. This is a car-free island between the Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico, and it's well known for the sea turtles and the whale sharks, which during the summer months, a lot of people come out here to take tours to swim with those whale sharks. This is a very laid back island. And like I said, there are no cars here. You may occasionally see a truck or two, but you cannot drive here. You cannot rent a car once you get here. <laughs> the only thing you can do is rent one of those golf carts you see going by. You can also rent bikes or you can walk. Now while we were here, we decided to rent bikes for 24 hours. For two bikes, it was 500 pesos, which is around 25 US dollars. So not bad at all. So there are a few different options to get to the island. You can rent a car. You can also take a taxi, there are shuttles, shared transportation, um, an ADO bus I believe, and you also have private transportation which is what we chose to do and I will link the information for Goal Holbosch transfers in the description box below. And keep in mind if you decide to take or to um, drive a rental, you'll have to park it and pay for daily parking. The trip from Cancun Airport to Chiquila is about two hours, and then the ferry ride over to Holbosch is only 30 minutes. place to stay is fairly easy as well. You can check Airbnb or any of the booking websites you like to use. Um, Holbosch really does have something for everyone and for all budgets. We stayed at Hotel Mayari and I will actually be posting a video in regards to that very soon along with a bunch of other awesome details. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any new content.
wash is beautiful. Some things to know guys before coming to Holbosch. Leave the cute sandals and shoes, the expensive shoes at home. As you can see, there are a bunch of little muddy puddles from where it had recently rained. Now that this is because the streets are basically dirt, rock and sand. So when it rains in this area, it can flood quite a bit. So be prepared for that. Be sure you have plenty of bug spray. That will be your new perfume or cologne while you're there. <laughs> the mosquitoes are no joke, so definitely be sure you keep the bug spray on deck. When it comes to money, make sure you get pesos before getting to the island. Um, you can do this in Cancun Airport. There are a couple of ATMs on the island, uh, but sometimes they can get pretty backed up or even be out of cash, so keep that in mind as well. And as always, anytime you travel to a place like this, be sure you have your sunscreen, your hats, your beach towels, everything that you need to enjoy an awesome beach vacation. Ended our night in Holbosch at the hot corner, which is perfect for drinks and dancing. After that, we headed back to the hotel for a good night's rest before the three island tour. We have a lot of content coming your way in regards to that, so stay tuned. Enjoy the rest of your day or your evening, and we'll be back with you soon. Music